So Michael is a geologist with, um, says 30 years experience, I can tell you it's a lot more than that uh, from personal experience. And um, we found our first gold together when we were 15. Um, he's worked um, in, in various industry roles with uh, Freeport, Getty Oil, Queensland Ores, and also spent some time at the University of Macquarie, Macquarie University. Um, we're about to hear um, the very exciting tale about the Mount Adrian discovery, which is um, got a lot of people um, pretty pumped up. A lot, a lot of the informed observers, like yourselves, are, um, are uh, calling this one big. Um, so um, I think that's probably not about time to stop all the connections and start uh, giving you our next story. Would you please join with me in welcoming to the stage Michael Lloyd. Yeah, th thanks for that, Julian. I appreciate that. Yeah, we've known it for years. But, uh, yeah, tonight I'll focus on Sovereign's key asset, which is the Mount Adra uh, Hobbs world class gold discovery, but it'll also give you a, a brief overview of Sovereign's uh, other assets. So basically, Sovereign specialises in the exploration of uh, intrusion related gold systems. So these are a, a new deposit classification only formally defined in 1999. And, first recognised in North America through the Tintina Gold Province. They've found about 50 plus million ounces and the same potential we believe exists in the, uh, the New England, the Lachlan Fold Belts and the Granite Belts of New South Wales. And as a consequence, Sovereign's focused on those areas and we've found two large intrusion-related gold systems or IRGS. We've got one in uh, the Tamworth uh, Armadale Urala area and our key ones down at uh, Mount Adra, the Hobbs one. But I'll just quickly have a look at uh, some, some of Sovereign's key assets. Clearly the value driver is the Gosson Hill Gold, Sovereign has 87% of that and the Mount Adra Hobbs Gold deposit is the key asset there. But in northern New South Wales we've discovered a very large intrusion related gold system around the Rocky River Urala Goldfield and that's fully funded by um, our Chinese joint venture partner, Jiangsu Geology and Engineering. So they're committing $11 million through uh, JV and IU over 24 months. And we have two drill rigs currently operating there. Sovereign also has 80% of the, or 67.4 million shares of ASX listed precious metal resources. So that's at 40 cents, that's, a, that's actually, you can see that a company that's got a total market cap of 31.6, so we're very undervalued. And PMR also has tenements, various tenements, but its key assets are uh, large base metal and silver deposits in uh, potential in, uh, in Halls Peak, 80 kilometres southeast of Armadale, and they've also attracted $10 million worth of funding there uh, from Jiangsu, which is be, to be spent over 24 months. So in northern New South Wales, just summing up, you've discovered a large intrusion-related gold system. Two drill rigs underway up there, funded by our Chinese joint venture partner. So we have a unique business model for that part of the world. The, our joint venture partners earns 30% of the asset or 30% of the exploration licence for a very significant uh, exploration expenditure. And they're not diluting and they're not coming in as equity. That's their preference, which is much better for our shareholders. And they have multiple drill targets and they've had some significant um, uh, drill results and we've reported some of those and there's more to come. But now going to Gosson Hill, you see uh, in, in the southernmost point there, that's Mount Adra, that's our key asset. Just a little bit to the north of that, it's a, a tenement area called Ballora, which is an epithermal and further north in the around, that, just north of Tamworth is the Peel Fault suite of tenements, which Gosson Hill is uh, joint ventured to PMR who's spending uh, one million <clears throat> to earn 70% over 12 months. But I'll just focus now on that southernmost point, Mount Adra, which is just immediately about half an hour south of Wagga Wagga. So, uh, you, a lot of you might be aware, we, we, we understood this to be an intrusion-related gold system. <clears throat> we inherited two very good geologists with the project, Chris, Dr Chris Patera, Dr Andy White, and collectively we understood it to be a very deep tapping pipe. So we had no fear walking up a drill rig and, and, and planning a 1,000 metre hole, and we had great success. So you can see in that chart on the right hand, left hand side, we had zero to 886 metres continuous at 1.2 grams per tonne, and zero to 720 metres from surface of 720 metres, 1.3, zero to 400. 
at uh, 1.4 and some very sort of high grades, for instance, 3 to 350, uh, 50 metres at 1.9. And then subsequent, we've done other holes and we've had similar results. And basically you can see there we, we have a fairly rapid resource upgrade. So currently there's 650,000 ounces at 1.23 grams per tonne at a cutoff of 0.75. And there's a conceptual target of um, 3.2 to 4.6 million ounces at 1.23 to 1.37 for 80 to 104 million tonnes. So we currently, our main focus now is to drill out that conceptual resource of between two to four million tonnes. But just to give you an idea of scale, you can see that's a kilometre th through the conceptual morphology of the Hobbs target. In the middle there is the centre point tower that's 309 metres high to the tip of its spire. So when you walk out tonight, just look up and imagine something three times that height and you've got a, an idea of, of a, of a 1,000 metre drill hole. So it's in a very good neighbourhood. It's a world-class neighbourhood. You can see the green line is, is the Gilmore Suture, coming off the Suture, uh, Gilmore Splays. And it's very gold endowed. In Western Australia, we'd have had a million more holes drilled in it. It's very underexplored. Um, but you can see it's got some very significant world-class neighbours. Cadia Ridgeway, 60 million, Newcrest, 60 million ounce gold equivalent. North Parks. 8 million ounce gold equivalent. Rio just recently sold their 80% holding in that to China. We lived in it for 780 million. You have Barrick with Lake Cow and, and several other significant gold. Apart from the Hobbs, which is pipe, which is sort of the larger pipe circle there, there's um, a lot of uh, geological and uh, geochemical and geophysical evidence and some drill hole data that indicates there's probably a cluster of pipes. And we're currently doing a, an IP survey at the moment which would discriminate these pipes and then we've planned a, we'll be planning a, a, at least a five hole drilling program. So we'll get a second rig out there whilst we continue to drill out ounces in the, uh, in the main pipe. And just to show you that, on the left hand side, based on um, geochemical, geophysical uh, targets, you can see on the very far top left, western side is, is, is Hobbs and then there's four other potential pipes that, that are circled and on the right hand side have, just have a Google Earth shot of uh, Rio Tinto's North Parks mine and you can see we're, we're predicting a similar architecture, similar morphology in the expression of the, uh, of the mosaic. So a lot of people indicate they have, probably have no doubt that we'll eventually drill out two million plus ounces in, in the Hobbs pipe so it can't, really comes down to project economics so we've been proactive there, we're doing capability studies, milling studies and earlier work by uh, Michelago has shown that um, in metallurgical tests, there's 9 to 10% free gold. 95% uh, of that remaining gold was recovered in a sulphide con, and of that, 91.9%, 92% was uh, recovered by bacterial oxidation and leaching. We've sent samples to ALS and we'll be releasing those results soon, but they're, they're very positive in that they, they, they confirm those results. So in terms of optionality, the Hobbs deposit obviously is the, is the key asset and that's where we'll be uh, focusing our, our, our drill resources. But you can see along the Gilmore Suture there that there's three other gold fields, Bangadang, uh, Healers and Diggers Creek all on the suture. That's about over about 10 kilometres. And then we've surrounded about, well, in area we've got several hundred square kilometres up and down the Gilmore Suture where we have additional targets that uh, our exploration team we regard as having potential for repetitions of Hobbs-like deposits. So just looking at logistics, in New South Wales you couldn't probably ask for a better location, probably four, four and a half hours from Sydney, um, <clears throat> very close to Gundagai, Adelon, Tumut, very supportive towns. All the locals are really quite keen for an industry to develop. So in a very high cost country, potentially a very low cost mine in the sense that there were no fly in, no fly out, everyone will drive to work. They'll be able to go home and watch their families grow up. And obviously, uh, it's all on freehold land. The, the main deposits, this is just a single landowner. And as you'll see, there's, uh, there's really no major environmental impediments or regulatory hurdles close to power, close to water. So it's ideally suited for development. And at this current stage, that's just our forward um, exploration program. But what, what will be there'll be constant positive news flow, we believe. So we've got a lot of, lot of um, 
drilling within the deposit just to prove up the resource, step out drilling following the IP survey, and then continuous information flowing through on, um, on um, project economics, capability studies, milling studies, etc. And just to sort of sum it up then, so Sovereign specialises in exploration and intrusion related gold systems. We found two large systems already, one in northern New South Wales and of course the one Mount Abbott is very advanced. Uh, in northern New South Wales we have a unique business plan so we're fully funded in, under JV and MOU by our Chinese joint venture partner. We have two drill rigs they're paying for up there and they drill, they drill seven days a week. And, and we also own 80% of ASX listed PMR that also has attracted $10 million worth of exploration funding from our Chinese joint venture partner. And, and, and that, they like, that most of their tenements they are operating in are very close to Sovereign's northern New South Wales ones. But obviously our key asset is, is, the, is Mount Adra, the Hobbs Pipe 1 discovery where um, we've had extremely deep holes up to 940 metres at 1.1 grams, 820 at 1.2 and, and further good results pending. And, it's, and then obviously Rapid Jort resource upgrade to 650,000 ounces. And so far, uh, resource upgrades costing us about, a, for drilling, about a dollar an ounce, which is remarkably cheap. And uh, it's in the Gilmore Suture, it continues to prove the potential Mount Adra, the Hobbs Pipe 1, and you can see basically it just sticks out of the ground. And people have been drilling it since 1980, so it's really a case of looking at that thing and going, interpreting it with the new diagnostic properties and applying intrusion-related goal system models. So, uh, thank you.